for the next stop on the walking tour today, the day trip around Chinatown, is Wat, I need help to say this, Wat Chakrawatrachawat. Wa, uh, I don't know. Here it is here. Why are we here? First and foremost, this temple has crocodiles. But also it's got a uh, significant, uh, has some hi significant historical value as well. So which I'll tell you about in a minute. First and foremost, where are these crocodiles? Oh, oh, I see him, I see him. <laughs> heard two reasons why they have crocodiles at this temple. First reason is to attract people. Well, I'm guilty there. They got me in because of, because of the crocodiles. Uh, but the second reason, which I like, is back in the ye old days, a crocodile, they found a crocodile here at the temple. Because this temple here is right next to the Chow Prayer River. So a crocodile swam from the Chow Prayer River and made its way up onto land to the temple so they just kind of kept it and ever since then they've just kept crocodiles but I can't help but it still does seem a bit weird I can see four crocodiles but the most weird one is there's a fake crocodile uh, and I think if memory serves that's the original one that is the first crocodile that's been now stuffed and it's there on display that's the one, the original, that started the trip. Paying attention, quick quiz time. What is this stone? What does it represent? How many of them are there? Write in the comments for your prize, to, your chance to win a prize. A new hat from some Peng Mark. Be your prize. You can tell me what those stones are all about in the comments section. Oh wow, there's a horse here. still active, particularly old historical uh, sites. This one, sadly, the only real activity that's going on at the moment is it's providing car parking space for people who want to shop in Chinatown. Uh, and most of the uh, prayer halls are actually closed. There's one that's open here. I'll go and have a closer look at that. Um, yeah, it's kind of odd. It's got the the crocodiles and it's got this weird cave feature um, I don't feel a deep sense of spirituality wandering around here with crocodiles and weird caves and lots of cars 
uh, it's not a very spiritual experience here. Nonetheless, we weren't here to achieve enlightenment. We're here, we're here as a tourist because that's the theme of the day. really really amazing Buddha images and the murals the artwork on the wall was absolutely wonderful really really amazing I was having a bit of a spiritual moment there then all of a sudden the monk the monk that was in there just started playing on his phone with the volume up really high it's kind of ruined the spiritual nature of it because he was flipping through Facebook watching films with the volume on maximum it just did ruin the spiritual exper uh, experience for me a little bit but nonetheless this temple here is absolutely magnificent it's definitely worth a visit here and that's why it's on my day trip tour of Chinatown so as I put my shoes on leaving the temple we're gonna go to Klong on An uh, we're gonna get there when the Sun goes down so it's gonna be a perfect spot to get some dinner and have a beer and reflect on the day now Chinatown if if I was to do it a complete uh, complete service I'd be going out for dinner at one of the fantastic Chinese restaurants and then be going out for some cocktails and beers at areas like Soidana which is near Hua Lampong station however I'm not going to do that because I'm going to make another video that focuses on just the food of Chinatown and I'm going to make another video that's going to focus just on the nightlife uh, the cocktail bars and I'm going to start on the Chao Praia River at some places there and then work my way all the way back and finish up at Soi Nana so that's a video that I'm going to make in the future so that's why I'm cutting this episode short just after we finish the, uh, having a look around uh, 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 Klong Ong An so Klong Ong An is the last stop on Luke's a Chinatown tour Leaving the temple, heading now to, hang on, there's another temple here I need to have a look at. See this kind of a pinky color, pink and white. It looks really, really beautiful. Kind of a peach color. 
Yeah, it's really nice. What's even more uh, wonderful about this temple is no one uh, destroying the ambiance by having their phone on videos at full volume. Uh, it's actually very nice and peaceful. Except for the motorcycle novices. <laughs> it's Chinatown. Pretty hard to get a peaceful moment in Chinatown. So that's not why you, you visit Chinatown. You don't visit Chinatown for peace and tranquility, you visit it for action. And that's what it's provided today for all of us. So heading to Klong An now um, for a little unwind, look at some of the street art there, have a little snack and a drink. So I've had a great day out exploring Chinatown, I hope you enjoyed travelling with me, enjoying the experience. Um, so we've seen a lot of things uh, over the t my two, two days. Um, but if you're uh, one of my guests, if you're a family or friend coming to coming to Bangkok and you said, Luke, I want to show me around Chinatown. Well, part one and part two is exactly what I do in the daytime. I'll give you a little smattering of markets, a bit of history, um, a little bit of artwork, talk about architecture, dodge some cool old Vespers, buy a souvenir, of course. No trip to China, Chinatown's complete without a souvenir or two. Uh, what else did we do? We'd also finish with a night. We'd also finish without having a, having a beer or a cocktail at one of the fancy places here in Chinatown.